Hello, welcome back to Creative Kira, and I haven't posted a video in quite a while, and even though not that many people watch it, I decided uh, I don't really have much to do today, so I thought I'd make a video today. So I've actually, uh, not too long ago, I made this wave painting, and I think it's pretty good, but it's a really flat canvas, and I wanted to be able to hang it up on the wall. So that's nice, I'd like to hang it up up there. So I thought I'd make a slightly bigger version using this canvas I've already painted the base color for, and I just make a bigger version so I can hang it up on my wall. So I thought you could adventure with me. It probably won't be the exact same brush strokes because I, I did, did not do it in any particular order, so we're just gonna go with it. Voiceover time. So first I'm going to need this like shade of blue. It's like a dark, bright blue i'm not sure what it's called but it's called something and then this uh like uh it's a nice shade of blue but oh and then this white and then my paint brushes okay so now that we have all of the colors and paint supplies we're gonna need we actually have to put all that aside because first we need to sketch the wave i'm gonna kind of eyeball it here Okay, so after I sketch the wave, I'm just going to go in with a darker kind of blue just to kind of outline the whole thing. And then I'll go in with a lighter shade that I mixed and then the blue and just kind of transition around the colors until all my brush strokes kind of like fill the wave I sketched. So while I'm painting, I have a little montage put together for you. So here's the montage. <laughs> So now that I finished kind of the most important big piece of the painting, it's time to move on to the other details I have to do. So now that I've done the actual wave, I'm going to do like on this. Well, I do the th what I have to do. Um, what? <laughs> what else I have to do? I have to do these splatters and this kind of like foamy thing. Here, around the edge right here, and then around up here, and then and then finish. So I think I'm gonna let this dry because this is still pretty wet. So I'll come back in like a um, little bit, and we can continue. Okay, so it's dry now, as you can see. That's good. So now time to do like the white part. So I'm going to get, I'm gonna use this brush right here. This is kind of nice. It has a little bit of like an angle thing. It's really soft. It's, except for I can't put it on super blocky or it'll be like a super like um, blocky color. It won't look very good. So I'm just gonna kind of smear a little bit off there. So just there's not as much paint. So there's not as much paint on there as when I just dipped it in. Color kind of just kind of like dabbing, dabbing motion. I don't know what to call it. So now I'm just adding like the foam kind of look around the top of the wave and kind of on the edge. Do my splatter thing. I actually learned this in art class. I'm probably, there's probably a different way to do it or I'm doing it incorrectly. So I'm actually, okay, this paint, the acrylic paint that's right here that I use for this is really thick. So when you try to do that technique, just big blobs just splat and it doesn't get that kind of thing. So I actually... Sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's great. Okay, so I have this paint. It's satin acrylic paint. So it's like way smoother. It's not like globby. It's like really, pr it's like pretty thin. So it goes on pretty easy. Okay, so here's me finishing up my painting by adding the splatters around the wave. And after that was finished, I finished my painting. Wow, I think that looks really good. And I'm really happy I could put it on my wall. It's kind of hard to recreate art because is sometimes art just kind of gets you in the moment and it's hard to kind of redo something that's already happened but i think it actually turned out very well and i'm super happy about it thanks for watching i hope you have a great day and bye see you later